Hello and welcome to this short SQL tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today, we're going to be looking at using the SQL Server Rollup Clause to display subtotals and grand totals in the results set of the data we'll be creating and querying. So if we want to aggregate data on multiple hierarchy levels, group by would not be suitable. We can use Rollup to extend this functionality and calculate subtotals and grand totals. As it's an extension, it is efficient and there's minimal impact to performance. So just for some example data, you'll see me creating a table and inserting some values. It's just countries by certain IT products or services. We may have sold um, the unit values and the year. If we go ahead and just select all from the relevant table that we created, we will again just see the gist of the, the data. Um, we've got countries, products, so it could be wiring, networking supplies, IT support and so on, the year it was sold and the quantity of those products that we sold. Now, if we were to use a standard group by, we would only really be able to aggregate on one level, so that would likely be the quantity sold by the country. So we're going to look at how we can use roll up and the, the syntax that you would need to incorporate in order to successfully get a hierarchy of totals, subtotals, grand totals, and so on. So to show the first example simply, the sort of foundational block here, we can select the country, the sum of the quantity sold, and we'll call that total, and from the uh, regional orders table, and we'll group by country. So that's how we're going to aggregate our data. And as you can see there, the very basic example with the group by, we would get the total quantity sold by country. Let's look at how we can make this a bit more powerful with the roll up clause. We can explore this further before the, the country within the group by here, we can actually add roll up and execute the query. And let's see how this evaluates and the, the output that we get. So what happens is, as expected, we sort of get a grand total as well as the individual totals by country. Um, but one thing that does happen is that we are left with a null value in place of our region name within that column. So we can also go ahead and give it an actual name uh, by replacing the null value with any text using the coalesce function. So we can wrap country within coalesce and we can provide a value. So you can call that whatever you want, maybe subtotal, grand total, total, whatever that may be, and close it in quotation marks. And we can go ahead and run this again. Now that's great, we see the subtotal, you, you know, this could be a grand total, but how do we expand this again to have another hierarchy level where we can also view um, these totals by the products sold within the region? Well, it just, essentially we can copy and paste the step and modify it as required so we can view by product um, and we could call this total, uh, we'll alias it as, as product. And then we can go ahead, change some previous naming conventions, but you can see we're essentially just, it's almost a copy paste job here. We just need to remember to group it by product too. And when we go ahead and execute this query, we can see how that looks. So now we have the country, for example, France, um, and, and we also have the, the product total and the units sold there. Uh, and that, that will repeat itself um, across the whole, the whole output there. Now we can take this a step further by essentially adding another line to the equation to display the total purchase quantities by year, region and items with subtotal and grand total. So we can cast the year value to Varkar and then we can give that the grand total value alias as year. And at the end, we just need to remember to apply that step within our group by rollup extension. And when we execute this here, you will see that we now have values by year and we get the, the subtotal there um, and then we can go in and see the, the total by year um, in terms of the units sold and products and then if we go down again we get the subtotal yet again 
for countries, years, products sold. And when we expand that at the end, we also have the grand total level of the hierarchy right at the very bottom of our output. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.